Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. You really didn't need to give me anything. My reward is far greater than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Apocrypha again. Emmaus just cannot get enough of me, it would seem. Ah, what do we have here? You'll have to strike harder than that if you're to defeat me. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to this thing atop my head. I don't know if it's really doing anything. Wait, there's another creature back there. I know there's a tentacle in that water. Just waiting to strike. Alright, I don't see anything of value. Let's keep moving. I will certainly take these grand soul gems. Oh. A seeker aspirant. Die! <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> oh, Hermaeus, is this the best you can do? I think it's time for you to replace your servants with some other type of entity. Ah, a challenger. <laughs> oh, please, strike me harder. Let's see if it makes a difference. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Ring of Furious Flames. I think I've seen that before. Light armor. It's all right. All right, then. Your lurker has been dispatched. Something happened over there. Right, a black soul gem. A two-handed increase, nice. Another black soul gem. And another black soul gem. Okay. And another scry. Excellent. All right, I'll take the Vala stone, the septums, and the Welkin stones. Alright, I need to see about removing this thing over my head. Soltha's Maelstrom. If I cast the spell again... No, it didn't go away. Interesting. Tell me this is not going to be over my head for an eternity. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose it can't hurt. All right, so here we are. The Black Book Winds of Change.
Then what do we have here? Scholar's Insight. Reading skill books gives you an extra skill point. Okay, and what's the other one? Companion Insight. Your attack shouts and destruction spells do no damage to your followers. I think that's already the case. Lover's Insight. Do 10% more damage and get 10% better prices from people of the opposite sex. Oh, well, I suppose the Scholar's Insight is the only one worth getting. Reading skill books gives you an extra skill point. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, and look at this thing over my head. It's lower now. I, I hope it goes away. But anyhow, back to Solstein. And here I am. Did anyone miss me? <laughs> All right, I think we can get out of here now. Your voices. So, wait, there's someone else here. Ah, I just started having fun. Yes, let the orb deal with him. <laughs> All right. There's more. I hear more voices. Thank you for the extra light, Zelzaz. Should have known she would. Something's wrong here. I'll gut that filthy farmer when I see him. That just break my day. Yeah. <laughs> Have an ice orb. Shh. I hear some. Your footsteps betray you. What are you doing using that bow at someone else? Alright, well. Go ahead and take him down. Hey, nice to That'll come. Did you see than expected? that Terra Master? Priceless. <laughs> it certainly was. There's no match for us. 
They're not even a match for me. <laughs> oh. Hmm, too bad about these uh corpses here. Is there anything else? Alright, let's keep going. Oh, what's this? An Ashland Goron tunic. Near immunity. What? Zelzaz! Near immunity to fire, but reduces stamina regeneration by. sell it. And there's something else here. A Goron circlet grants 30% resistance to fire. Alright. I think that's it. Let's get out of here. We need to return to Crescius. I wonder if we could have come in this way. We've already been past this uh, area and dispatched all of the bandits. But let's get back to Crescius. Finally, that annoying circle above my head is gone. I'll have to think again on whether or not I should cast it. Conjure it. Whatever. I'm not sure how helpful it was. It distracts me, knowing that it's above my head. Let's see what Crescius is. Of course, he's not where we left him. <laughs> oh, let's see. Is there... There's nothing here. Oh, what is the poison song? Nothing. I thought perhaps it might be a skill book. All right, then, we... What's this? History of Raven Rock. I keep forgetting I can gain experience just by reading books. All right, we'll have to look for Crescius elsewhere. Well, here's his home, but it's locked. What is it? 130 140 in the morning. Keep moving. Yes, I'll keep moving, and I'll move time itself. But it's 944, yes, now we can go inside. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I'm sure you remember me. Why I'm you're he... leading Cretius on, I'll never understand. I'm not leading him on. Go we... back. Yes. Please, tell me what you found. You were right all along. Here is Gratian's journal. I think that was his name. Let me see that. Huh, I knew it. 
Gratian's death wasn't because of a rock fall. It was just a story to keep people away from the tombs. Now that I have his journal in hand, I can get some closure from the East Empire Company. Make them pay for lying to everyone. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Thank you. Now, I believe I owe you a little more than a debt of gratitude for all that work you did. Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. You really didn't need to give me anything. My reward is far greater than you could possibly imagine. Ooh. <laughs> So, are there any other Imperials in Raven Rock? Those cowards left decades ago. Every single damned one of them. The moment the ebony mine dried up, they pulled up stakes. Ridiculous. Ridiculous? Why? Well, you know it as well as I do. Raven Rock Mine wasn't empty at all. It's still rich in ebony ore. I come from three generations of miners, and I couldn't get anyone to believe me. Well, we showed them, didn't we? Well, I did, anyway. All right, then. I'm not interested in your family, so good day. All right, it's time for us to go. Come on. I'm sorry to bother you, but what? Second Counselor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Really? Did he say what it's about? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the Ash Spawn. Please, go speak to the Second Counselor as soon as possible. Oh, very well. All right. Uh, Zava, thank you. Sapphire and Garnet. You Sorry shouldn't Cressius have. can finally know some peace. However, that doesn't seem like the only positive outcome. I spotted some ebony down in those old tunnels. I imagine that'd be an argument for opening the mines again. Yes, perhaps they could make this a bustling city once again. So, we have some more business to attend to. Our services have been requested. Let's go see what that's about. While I let Mirak squirm in his final days and hours. The entire <laughs> island isn't covered in ash, you know. They have huge ice fields up north, and it's freezing up there. I don't, know I don't understand playing. why uh, Nords distrust magic. Doesn't add up. Magic is an incredible tool. Considering the difference. I'm not talking to you about that. I have a knack for smelling trouble. Why would you put some of these in the bank of it? I promise you, I have nothing but good intentions to All right. This must be the man here. You requested Thank an audience. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. Well, if you hate asking, then you shouldn't do it. <laughs> Anyhow, so the Counselor's in danger of being killed. How? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Counselor's head. And why would the Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say... They seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Well, he ordered the execution. It's on his head, not yours. Now that's just ridiculous. As is second it? counselor, it's my responsibility to protect Councillor Morvane from harm. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. So you feel an attack on the counselor? 
is imminent. I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. And why haven't you acted on this information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. <laughs> I'm really not sure how this is any of my concern. So what will you do? Summoning you here was part of my plan. I was hoping you'd be interested in investigating for me. I really must be honest with you. I'm here for one reason, and that's to destroy Mirak. I'm going to bide my time, though, and make him suffer. Making him think that he has the upper hand, when really, his life had ended the moment I set foot on this island. But I prefer not to get involved in this. Without Counselor Morvane, Ravenrock has no future. Keep that in mind next time you decide to help or not. <laughs> well, I see you're not taking no for an answer. Then I'll help you. Due to your persistence alone. I'm pleased you've reconsidered. Where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. And what can you tell me about House Lalu? Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. I presume that was their downfall. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the Dunma people's suffering. And what happened to House Lalu as a result? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the Council. And you mentioned your sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. And why don't you ask them to investigate? Why me? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Well, all right then. Well, I, I, I suppose I'll ask this question just out of... I don't even know if I'm curious or if I care, but why do the Dunma hate the Empire? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. And how did the Dunma survive this at all? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. All right, that will be all. You're dismissed. Don't worry. You can trust Geldis. He's been with us for a long time. 
us. I see. The assassination of a counselor. Just like Master Sewell. My friend, we must aid Counselor Morvain. We need to speak to Sadri right away. We have to get a lead before it is too late. Well, Zelzaz, if you feel strongly about this, then we'll do it. I just let the man die for all I care. <laughs> If there's anything at all I can do to help, please let me know. All right, here's the this wretched may be the match. Frontier, but we've still got room. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Oh, I'm starting to wonder if I need to have so many followers with me. I mean, we, we're overwhelming our foes. Maybe Atar. I might dismiss you. You've brought Ravenrock back from the brink, Traveler. I don't know how to thank you. Welcome to the wretched Nature You're welcome. Home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Your efforts and Ravenrock have proven most invigorating for my husband. I haven't seen him this pleased in many years. The mine's open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Just like old times. As the wife to the second counselor of Raven Rock, it would be my pleasure to help you any way that I can. How about a drink for the hero All who right, cares thank for you. Frostmoth? I don't want to talk to both of you at the same time. Let me come around here to the bar. Nightshade is a sign of death. The plant always Gildas. seems to be growing. Welcome to the wretching niche, Outlander. What can I get you? Adril said that you might be able to help me. Well, well. Adril's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. You think he's mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. You have a better idea. Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. And how do I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. And why haven't you told Adril about this? What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulins must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Oh, thank you. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Oh, uh, yes, I am curious. Why did Councillor Morvain execute an Ulin? Back in 95, Vila Ulin came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard and then murder Councillor Morvain when we weren't looking. Vila did this alone? He arrived alone but spread enough corn around to start changing people's minds. Half a bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? And how did Velour get caught? He underestimated the Renner and Gar. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. All right, thank you. Zelzaz, I think you might be good to lead this investigation. You brought Ravenrock back from the brink, Traveler. I don't know how to thank you. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost. Oh, here we go. All right, what, what is it that you lost? 
A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Was it aboard a ship? Yes, the strident squall, or something like that. The damn thing sunk right off the coast of Solstheim. Can you imagine? How do you know? One of the sailors survived. Poor thing crawled all the way to Raven Rock on his hands and knees. <laughs> Before he died, he told the Redoran guard about the wreck and warned us that it was going to be crawling with reavers. All right, I'll add it to my list and see if I can't find that book. It just delays Mirak's execution even further. Thank you. You have no idea how much it hurts losing such a precious heirloom. So at least the citizens aren't being enthralled anymore, so we have time. All right, let's go and wait inside the Ulan Ancestral Tomb. Glover Mallory is a wonder with a hammer and anvil. He mended my armor like an old pro. And I'm, I'm thinking, Zelzaz, that we might just handle this on our own. We can let those other two head back to Skyrim. Come on, let's go. The tomb is this way. 